Greetings everyone. Welcome to Freeway to Financial Freedom first Equinox special episode. My name is Chen Yu, the host of the show, and today is officially spring in Northern Hemisphere and autumn, which some people call fall, in Southern Hemisphere. For those of you who have seen the show before, you know what this is about. And for those of you who have never seen the show before or are here watching the show for the first time, don't worry about it now. This show is going to change the way you think about finance. And by watching the show, it will help you become financially affluent in life. How is it possible? To show you how it is so, here's a story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's Red E Rat to the rescue! rescue, rescue, rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race! Let me show you the way out! With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium. Fly high with financial and technological freedom. And CYY Mall. Great savings come from shoppers like you. And now back to the show. Alright, let's see here. So my occupation is doctor and uh, my dream, a stock market for kids. Okay, so I'm going to choose that. And this is going to take a while since I'm actually waiting for a potential challenger. Ah, here he is. We have a challenger named Philip and his stream golf around the world. All right, so since we're both ready, let's start the game for real. All right, so now uh, it's my turn. Good roll, die to opportunity. And let me see if I could actually get a small uh, a property by using a small deal. Okay, let's see here. Stock equity for you drug company, $5 per share. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to skip that. I'm going to just have to start with um, buying some property. So let's pass. And it's Philip's turn. Let's see here. He rolled a three, which is a market. But of course, he has no car wash uh, store. So it doesn't apply to him. Now it's my turn. Okay, well, one, I landed on market, so again, there's nothing with me, so there's not much, not much I could do. Now it should be Philip's turn. Let's see here, what's, what he's going to roll. He rolled two, a doodad. Now, of course, he does not have a child, so this doodad does not apply to him. So now, it should be my turn. Five. Let's see here. That's um. I think that's the opportunity. Let me take a small deal again. Condo for sale. Two bedroom, one bathroom. Well, there's negative cash flow, so I'm gonna pass that. Uh, now it's Philip's turn. Now he lands an opportunity, and let's see what he has right now. NYT for you stock. Forty dollars per share. Well, that's a pretty expensive and he passed that for right now for now now it's my turn f5 
five, and that's a, oh, is that doodad? Oh. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Oh, this time I got a big, a big doodad. Buy a big screen TV for $4,000. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Fortunately, I'm a doctor, so I have... I actually have a really high income. Let's just pay with the cash to kind of avoid that kind of a um, uh, so-called loan payment. Now it's Philip's turn, and he landed on do that for a second time. This time he's lucky because he just went out to dinner by spending eighty dollars in cash. And now it's my turn. Four, and that's a paycheck. And now I have set. Now I took. And I took home three thousand five hundred and fifty. Now I have seven thousand fifty on hand. Now it's Philip's turn, and he landed on opportunity. Let's see what he has right now. Mutual fund, grow for us fund. Hmm. Thirty dollars per share, and he paid one hundred twenty for four shares of grow for us fund. It should be my turn. Let me see. Let me see if I can get an odd number. Four. I do that again. Uh, let's see what I have right now. Go to casino, lose two hundred dollars a table. Well, I'm gonna pay in cash. So far, no opp no opportunity yet. Now it's Philip's turn, and let's see here. He just got a paycheck of one thousand seven hundred forty, and uh, let's see here. I think it should be my turn shortly after. Yep, it's my turn, and let's see here. Let me go try to get one or three or maybe no. more. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich, and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt, and that's why they're poor. Okay, well, I landed on an opportunity, and of course, there's a stock. Okay, um, just rose $10, and... Yeah, I just passed that. Now it's uh, Philip's turn, and let's see what happened. Start a company part time. Oh, let's see here. What's his um, action? He passed that deal, and uh, now it's my turn. And uh, let me see here. Um, let's hope I can get at least two, three. All right, so that's a paycheck. But so far, no opportunity, no good opportunity yet. I took home 3550 Now it's Philip's turn. Opportunity, and let's see what he has right now. MYT for you, electronics, $30 per share, and let's see what happened. He passed the opportunity. Should be my turn. Three. Okay, that's an opportunity, and uh, let me get the. Uh, let me take a big deal. See what happened. Let's see here. Uh, apartment house for sale. Twelve unit apartment house offered by out of state heirs of handyman owner. Long waiting list for apartments in this building. Uses for sale for sale to the player. Fifty eight percent RI may sell for three hundred thousand to four hundred eight thousand. Cost of three hundred fifty thousand. Mortgage of three hundred thousand. Down payment of fifty thousand and cash flow of impressive two thousand hundred. First question I should ask my stockbroker. Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Well, I passed that opportunity because I have. If I do buy, I have to pay. I had to borrow forty thousand, and uh, yeah, it's going to be like um, you have to pay like four thousand, which is more than like two thousand five hundred for that, for the, which means like negative cash flow. And of course, Philip just uh, passed that opportunity, and now it's my turn. One, oh, I do that again. Oh, what is it gonna be? Well, I don't have a child, so it doesn't apply to me. Now it's Philip's turn. 
chair. Okay, now he landed on charity, and what's his decision? Uh, okay, so he paid 900, 490 to charity, so he can roll one or two dice uh, in the next three turns. Now it's my turn. Let me see if I can roll two. One opportunity. Uh, let me take a small deal this time. Oh, all right. Condo for sale. Two bedroom, one bathroom. Nice two one condo available to do the marriage of owner. Bad area needs work uses for sale for seventy player. Twenty four percent. Or I may sell for forty five to sixty five thousand. Cost of fifty thousand. Mortgage of forty five thousand. Down payment of five thousand. And a cash flow of a hundred. Hmm. Yeah, I can just start myself with that. So let's buy. Nicely done. Thank you. This down payment will be asset, so there's a cost. Mortgage is liability, and of course cash flow is income, and now I have the cash flow of 3650 Alright, now it's Philip's turn. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Alright, so Philip just got a house um, that is worth 50000 with no down payment, not adding cash flow of 100 so of course now we both have a passive income of 100 each, yet Philip actually has the largest percentage of passive income, so I have a long way to go. Okay, so now I take a small deal. Okay, you, you find a great deal. Older three bedroom, two bathroom house with possessed by government agency, ready to go with government financing with a tenant. Borrow from the bank if you must, but buy this. 132% RI may sell for 65 to 135,000. Cost of 35,000, mortgage of 33,000, down payment of 2,000, and a cash flow of 220. Hey, that's a great one. Let's buy that. Nicely done. Alright, so down payment and cost will be the asset. Mortgage is liability and cash flow is income and now I have a cash flow of 3,870. Yay! Now it's Philip's turn. And here's he landed on opportunity once again and let's see what happened right now. On to you entertainment stock, $30 per share and let's see what's his decision and he passed that opportunity. And uh, let me see here. Now it's my turn. One market. Okay, let's see what I have right now. Apartment house buyer. Well, I don't have an apartment, so it doesn't apply to me. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they can do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, so Philip just got a paycheck, and it's my turn, and I got a child. So I add 640 to my child expense. Yeah, this one will be expense. So now my cash flow is reduced to um, 3,230. Now it's first turn. And let's see, he let our opportunity. And let's see here. Okay, for you, drug $40. Hmm. Now let's see what's his decision and he passed that opportunity. Now it's my turn. Four. Let's mark it, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, I don't have any plex, so it doesn't apply to me. And now it's Flip's turn. And he just landed on a paycheck. He took home 1960 And now it's my turn. Three, opportunity. 
let me try taking a big deal. Wow, down payment. The broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it is the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, so um, I just landed on the opportunity. Of course, that one is actually too expensive because I have to borrow like 40000 in loans and that's 4000 in loan payment. That's more than like 2800 positive cash flow. So that's like, my gosh. Um, Minus 1,200, so I passed that. Now it's Philip's turn, and he sold the house for profit of 40,000. Now I want to know that like, I should sell a house for for a profit of 40, uh, 55,000. Actually, 57,000. Really? Let me check here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I can sell. I can. I think I can sell just one house and. Hope I can buy a business. So now I'm gonna remove one of them. And now I have my cash flow reduced to 3,010 and I have 67,280 on hand. Now it's my turn. Three. So I got a paycheck. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. So now Phil actually is now an opportunity. 20 acres of raw land. Uh, I'm not, I think he's not interested in that. And he isn't. Let's say now it's my turn. Five, all right. Opportunity. Let me take a big deal this time. Whoa. Um, sixty thousand. Okay, apartment complex for sale. Sixty unit complex available from pension fund that foreclosed on builder owner. On-site management in place. Uses for sale for sale to a player. Sixty-six per RI may sell for one hundred fifty thousand to two hundred. Oh, a high one million two five hundred to. 2,700,000 cost of 1.2 million mortgage of 1 million down payment of um of 200,000 cash flow of 11,000 hmm so if I buy it then I have to borrow 130 uh, in the loans then that's like what thirteen thousand of um, in payment, loan payment. That's um, two thousand more than a cash flow. So that would be like negative two thousand. <sighs> now I'm gonna have to skip that. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. And now it's Philip's turn. And now he led on charity for the second time. My and stock broker says that uh, investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stock broker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, he led on charity and he didn't pay for charity. Now I landed for charity for the first time and yeah, I'll donate. So now I pay 1330 to charity and now it's Philip's turn. Let's see what we have. Big deal opportunity. Uh, let's see here. A non-franchise sandwich shop. And let's see. And he paid 30000 for that. The, the, the franchise. The fr sandwich franchise. Adding 1500 to his income. Now it's my turn. Seven. Okay. Let me see if I can get, get a big deal this time. 
and quick. House for sale. Um, three bedroom, two bathroom, three bedroom, two bathroom house on a golf course of four offered potential capital gains plus current and plus ca current cash flow. Good rental and nice financing. Uses for sale for sale to player, 51% RI, may sell for $65,000 to $135,000, cost of $75,000, mortgage of $68,000, down payment of $7,000, and cash flow of $300,000. Hmm, yeah, I, think I, I, think, I think I can buy that. Nicely done. Thank you. So, this will be asset. Well, I don't need to say that because it's already, it's pretty straightforward. And now I have cash flow of $3,310. Now it's Philip's turn and let's see what happened right now. Okay, now he's like halfway there. And he took home 3560 in paycheck. Now it's my turn. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich, and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt, and that's why they're poor. Wow, I just got a paycheck twice, so now I got like 6,610 in, no, 6,620 in paycheck. Now, it's Philip's turn, and let's see what happened right now. He passed the 8-plex opportunity, which he could have had 950 in um, passive income. Now it's my turn. Four. And what is it going to be? Okay, a doodad. Yeah, I'm gonna pay in cash because I just lost like $100. Now it's Philip's turn. And he just landed on a paycheck of $3,560. Now it's my turn. Six, and that's a market, I think. Yeah, it is. Interest rate on home loan drops to 5%. If you and no other players own any three bedroom, two bathroom house, rental house, you may sell them for 50,000 more than the original cost. If you sell, pay off the related mortgage and give up the cash flow you currently receive on each property. Yeah, I think it's better to sell it. So now I have my cash flow is reduced back to 3010 and I have 131,800 on hand. Now it's Philip's turn. And he had an opportunity and let's see what he has right now. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, well, Philip just passed a fourplex opportunity. That's my turn. Take a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, the cost is 108000 but it may, may sell for $100,000 to $140,000. Uh, forget it. I, I might have a big loss here. I'm going to pass. Even with a bank loan, that investment would have provided positive cash flow. And now it's Philip's turn. He landed on charity for the third time, and let's see what's his decision. This time he didn't pay for any charity. Now, it's my turn. Six, all right. Let me take a big deal. Auto automated business for sale. 330 video pinball machines and long-term contract for sale by overextended owner. Owner is desperate. Uses for sale or sell to the player. 96% RI, no other buyer in sight. Cost of 100,000, mortgage of 80,000, down payment of 200, of, of um, 20,000, and cash flow 1,600. Hey, that's a good one, I'm gonna buy that. That's the way to do it. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. I don't need to say that. And now I have the cash flow of 4610 I still have 114810 on hand. Now it's Philip's turn.
And he then, uh, he landed on opportunity. Let's see what happened right now. Why do you say investing isn't risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. So now I took home 4,610. And now it's Philip's turn. Okay, so he got a big deal and I think he's gonna buy that. Oh, he passed the opportunity. Wow, amazing, un unbelievable. He could have actually got, gotten out of the rat race. Uh, now it's my turn. Six, that's gonna be a uh, charity. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna donate for the second time. So now I paid 1,490 to charity. Now it's Philip's turn. He landed on market widget company buy. Well, he has no widget company, so it doesn't apply to him. Now, it's my turn. Eight, and what is it gonna be? Oh, now I have my second child. So add 640 to my child expense. So now my Cash flow is reduced to 3,970. Now it's Philip's turn. And he's downsized for a second time for the first time. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. I'm going to swipe seven. It should be opportunity. Let me just take a big deal. Let's see. Fourplex for sale. Nice, well maintained fourplex in good con neighborhood, stable tenant. Positive cash flow, few problems, full records uses for sale for a center play player. 40% or I may sell for 100,000 to 140,000. Cost of 125,000. Mortgage of um, 100,000, 110,000. Down payment of 50,000 and um, cash flow of 600. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like. We're really gonna have to buy that, so let's secure that. Nicely done. So now my cash flow of 4,570. Now it's Philip's turn. Of course, he's downside, so there's nothing he can, he can do. And uh, it should be my turn, and uh, let me take two dice so that I'm sure I won't get one if I if I roll on two dice. Four. Okay, that's great. Take a big deal. Uh, apartment house for sale. Um, twelve. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy. Not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Alright, so 12 unit apartment house offered by out of state areas of honeyman owner. Long waiting list for apartment in this building. Uses for sale for a sale to a player. 58% RI may sell for 300000 to 
480,000, cost of 350,000, mortgage of 300,000, down payment of 50,000, and cash flow of 2,400. Hey, that's a good one. I want to buy that. Nicely done. Alright, so now my cash flow is increased to 6,970. I still have 66,000. Uh, and 80 on hand. Now, it's uh, now it's uh, Philip's turn, and uh, he's now still he's still downsized. Now it's my turn. One market. Yeah, okay, I don't have any three bedroom, two bathroom uh, house, so it doesn't apply to me. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. And now let's see here, duplex for sale, and let's see what's his decision. And he pays seven thousand for a duplex, adding cash flow one hundred and forty. Now it's my turn. Four. That's a charity for the third time. So yeah, I'm gonna donate. And I paid one thousand seven hundred ninety to charity. And now it's Philip's turn, and of course he got a paycheck of six three thousand eight hundred and forty. Now, it's my turn. Nine, all right, so let me take a big deal. Hmm, yeah, house for sale, three bedroom, two bathroom. Transferred skill tradesman kept his three, two, three bedroom, two bathroom house in excellent condition, so it commands top dollar rental in older neighborhood. Uses for sale for sale to player 40%. Oh, I may sell for 65000 to 125000 Cost of 67000 Mortgage of 55000 Down payment of 12000 And cash flow of 400 Hmm, I can secure that. Nicely done. And now I have cash flow of 7370 And now cash on hand, 59260 now it's my it's Philip's turn. And he landed on opportunity. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! And now of course I thought just passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. 10, all right. So I have two paychecks. That's like two times three, 7,370. That's like what? Um, like 14,740. Okay, now I'm gonna take a big deal. Let's see, house for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Hmm, business liquidating this three bedroom, two bathroom house. Needs cash to save his business. Currently occupied by happy tenant. Uses for sale for sale to play. To a player, 26% or I may sell for 65000 to 135000 cost of 65000 mortgage of 58000 down payment of 7000 and cash flow of 150 Yeah, I'm going to buy that. There you go. And now I have cash flow of 7520 Now it's Philip's turn. And he landed on Doodad. He just bought his new clothes by paying... 250 in cash. Now it's my turn. Five. And that's a um, charity for the fourth time. And yeah, I'm going to donate. So now I pay 1,845 to charity. Now it's Philip's turn. Eight plex for sale. Hmm. Let's see what's his decision. 
and he passed the opportunity. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Well, I got a paycheck twice, so now it's like 15,040 and Philip, and now it's Philip's turn and he just took home 3,940. Okay, so now it's uh, my turn. No doubt. I'll just take two dice. Seven, okay, very good. Now, that's an opportunity. Take a big deal. Automated business for sale. Personal bankruptcy sale of busy, successful, not laundromat, or busy highway, absentee owner, contract cleaning, uses for self or, or sale to a player, 100% RI, no buy in sight, cost of 150,000, Mortgage of 120,000, down payment of 30,000, and cash flow of 2,500. Hey, good one, I'm gonna buy that. Good job. All right, so I'm getting there right now. So far, so good. Now I have cash flow of 10,020, yet I have cash, I have um, 50,195 on hand. Great. So now it's Philip's turn. And he led an opportunity. Let's see what he has right now. Cool. Limited partner wanted. Hmm. Let's see, what's his decision? Okay, he passed that opportunity. And now it's my turn. Two. And of course, I'll take a big deal again. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. All right, so let's see here. Apartment house for sale, 12 unit apartment House offered by out-of-state heir of handyman owner. Long waiting list of apartment in this building. Uses for sale or sale to the player. 58% RI, may sell for 300,000 to 480,000. Cost of 350,000, mortgage of 300,000. Down payment of 50,000 and cash flow of impressive 2,400. Hey, good one, let's buy that. Nicely done. All right, I'm really investing right now. So now, I have cash flow of 12,420 cash on hand. I still have 10,215. Yay! Now it's Philip's turn. And let's see here. Eight plex for sale. And let's see what's his decision. He passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. One market. Let's see what he has. What I have right now. You are offered fifty-five thousand for a two-one rental condo. Hmm. Buyer has own financing. Everyone may sell this price. You sell, pay off the related mortgage, and give up the cash flow you currently receive on this property. Hmm. Yeah, that's a five thousand profit. All right. Actually, ten thousand. Why do you say investing isn't risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Y yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think this is so one of them. So now my cash flow is reduced to 12,320. I still have 20,250 on hand. Now it's for the third. Now 
It's the automated, automated business for sale and he passed that opportunity. Now it's my turn. Six. Now I, have, I took home 12320 Let me see if I can actually repay my loans here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can clean out two of them. So now I have 22535 left. Now it's Philip's turn. And he took home 3940 Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Now it's my turn. Take a big deal. Hmm. Auto dealer wants to expand to leasing two to three year old car. Needs capital as a car maker finance company is not interested. Uses for sale for sale to a player 40% RI. Owner may buy you out for 60 to 90,000. Cost of 30,000. Mortgage of, is zero. Downhill of 30,000 and cash flow of 1,000. Yeah. That might be a good deal. I'm going to buy that. Nicely done. So I had to borrow that $8,000 uh, payment. Loan payment of 800 sure. So low amount, that'll be um, liability, bank payment is expense, down payment is an um, asset, so it's the cost, mortgage is liability, but of course I have no liability. Cash flow is income, so now I, so now my cash flow is increased to 12,840. I still have 535 on hand. Now it's uh, Philip's turn. Let's see, buyer offers 145,000 per unit for all units, apartment house, other houses of any size, has financing, has a financing, own financing. Everyone may sell this price. If you sell, pay off the real mortgage, you give up cash flow you currently receive on this property. Hmm. Let me see here, 45,000 times 12, that's like My what? real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah, that's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Hmm. Yeah. That's actually my, these are my lifeblood, so I'm not interested in that. I'm going to have to just skip it for now. Now it's my turn. Three, and that's it. What is it going to be? Uh-oh, what is that? Now I have my third child. So now my expenses increase. Um... My cash flow is now reduced to 12,200. 12, uh, I still have 535 on hand. Let's see, now it's Philip's turn. Small shopping mall for sale. Hmm. And he passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. One. Uh, yeah. Let me take a small deal. MYT for you. 
five dollars per share. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. And I guess you passed the opportunity. Now it's Philip's turn. He just took over 3940 Okay, it's my turn. I roll a six. Take a big deal. Let's see, bed and breakfast for sale. Owner retiring, wants out now. Great clientele and resort company committee. Five bedroom, three ba bathroom. Uses for sale for sale to a player. 40% or I may sell for 100 to 300,000. Cost of 150,000, mortgage of 120,000, down payment of 30,000, and cash flow of 1,000. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to borrow like what? Um, 18,000? That's 1,800 in payment. That's more than a cash flow. So that's a negative cash flow of 800. Uh. I'm gonna have to pass that. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. And now it's Philip's turn. Limited partner wanted and let's see what's his decision. Uh, and he paid 20,000 for the limited partner worth 20,000 and a cash flow of 800. Now it's my turn. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Oh, now I'm downsized for the first time. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that your job position has been affected by our new corporate restructuring. You must pay your expenses minus your passive income and you lose three turns. Thank you for your hard work and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, the Big Cheese, your boss at Big Bad Business Company. So now... The good thing is that I still have 11735 uh, 11, left because I have the passive income of 11050 so it's, a, it's not that bad. And let's see, it's Philip's turn and he landed on a pizza franchise opportunity and he passed that opportunity. And uh, let's see, and now I'm, of course I'm still downsized so I have to wait for two more turns. Now it's Philip's turn. And he took home 4140 Now it's my turn. And of course I'm still downsized. Now it's Philip's turn. And he let an opportunity and let's see what happened right now. A duplex for sale and he just passed that opportunity. Alright, so I think it's my turn. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, so now I took home 12,200 and Philip took home 4,140 and now it's my turn. Six. That's a charity. I'm gonna to have to donate it. Uh, so now I paid two thousand four hundred twenty-five to charity. Uh, let me see. I think it was like um, how many times did I, have I done? Things like four times right now. Okay, now it's my turn. No, I'm not. now it's Philip's turn. 
and he pissed past it, past the, um, the opportunity relating to four plex. Now it's my turn. Eight, and what is it gonna be? Okay, well, I think I already have a three child, and the the, the limit is that I can the max is that um I can only have a limit of three child three children maximum. So I don't think I can add that. Oh, actually, well, I have three. I have four children right now. Okay, so now it's Philip's turn, and hmm, and I think it, it does apply to him because I think he probably but he just repaid the bank loan. Now it's my turn. Four. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, I landed on a market, but of course, uh, if I sold, if I sold this um, fourplex, It'll be a loss of twenty-five thousand, so I better just just keep it. Now it's my turn. Four and what is it gonna be? Uh oh, what is that? Now I'm downsized for a second time. Ow! Oh. But the good thing is that I still have the a residual income from the um, real estate and businesses, so so I have a small losses, which means I still have forty-four thousand nine hundred ten on hand. Now of course now it's Phil's turn, and let's see, he landed on a big. The opportunity and uh, he just passed that opportunity now it's a uh, of course I'm downsized so I can't do anything about it and now it's Philip's turn automated business for sale and let's see what happened right now and he passed that op opportunity the business And now um, it's still Philip's tur turn. And let's see here. He landed on a car wash and he just passed that opportunity. And now it's my turn. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Of course, I haven't sold a, a, a house uh, for now, or a business, and let's see, he's, now, he's, now it's his turn, and he has, um, and he paid $6,000 for duplex, worth of $60,000, adding cash flow of three, 300 Okay, now it's my turn. Six, then that's a paycheck, uh, adding 12200 into my bank account. Let me see if I can actually repay my loans here. I think I can just repay two of them. The bank loan and a car loan. So now I have forty two thousand three hundred ten in my bank account. Now it's Philip's turn. And he landed on opportunity and let's see what he has right now. Four plex for sale and let's see what's his decision. And he passed the opportunity. Let's see. And now it's my turn. Congratulations. Nicely done. Congratulations, you've reached the fast track. You've proved your financial intelligence. Your right race investments have prospered. You've reinvested your return for outstanding investment success. You successfully increased your passive income a hundred times. Yay! Now, on a fat out of the rat race and onto the fast track. Here we go. Ten. Let's see what we have here. 
Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, uh, so now um, he landed on a what we call the baby. Now he just had his first child, and now it's uh, my turn. Four. Let's see here and um, golf around the world. Well, I'm not interested in that. Of course, I still need to make fifty thousand of um, what we call the daily uh, uh, cash flow from the businesses. And um, yeah, and now it's uh, Philip's turn. Let's see what he has right now. A uh, duplex for sale, and let's see what's his decision. And he passed that opportunity. And now it's um, it's my turn. Nine. T-shirt store, eight thousand monthly cash flow, cash on return, eighty forty percent. Down here of two two hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Now it's Philip's turn. And uh, let's see, go to the air show, pay one hundred twenty. Um, in um, in cash, and now it's my real estate turn. broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, now it's like... It's, I got a long way to go right now, and now it's Philip's turn, and automated business for sale, and let's see what happened right now. And he passed the opportunity. And now it's, uh, it should be my turn. Ten. Let's see here, what's it gonna be here? Um, buy a forest, well I'm not interested in that. Now it's a Phillips turn. Okay, so Philip didn't pay for any charity. Now it's my turn. Nine. Hmm. Buy 500,000 shares at 10 cents per share. If you roll 5 or 6 on one die, share goes to $1 per share and get 500,000 cash. Mutual funds are bank. good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Otherwise, they get nothing. Let's try that. Two. Well, I got nothing now, so I lost fifty thousand. Now it's the turn. Now, what is it going to be? Automated business. For, automated business for sale. Hmm. Let's see. What's his decision? And uh, uh, he paid for thirty thousand for the business. And in cash flow of 2,500. Now it's my turn. Nine.
save the ocean mammal. Well, I'm not interested in that. I'm gonna have to pass. Now it's the Phillips turn. Capitalist Peace, Peace Corp. Hmm. It's an entrepreneurial business school in the third world nation. Instructors of business people. Now, now it's my turn. 11. Beauty Salon, 10,000 per monthly cash flow, 40% uh, cash on return. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that, 250,000 down payment. Now, it's Philip's turn. Oh, and now he's on a fast track. Now it's like, what is that called? Be a jet setter? And his stream is like, what? Um, to... Says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, so now it's my turn. Really quick, really quick. Five, what is it gonna be? Um, private fishing cabin. Well, I'm gonna have to pass that. Now it's Philip's turn. A research center for cancer and AIDS. Yeah, I think it's, let's see here. I. Let me see, I think he's, he just paid 225000 for that dream. And now it's my turn. Nine. Quick Food Mart, 5,000 monthly cash flow, 50% cash on return, down payment of 120,000. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, so I bought the... Um, the quick food marts. Now it's my turn. Seven. A mini farm in the city. Well, I'm not interested in that, so I'm gonna pass. Now it's my turn. Now it's Philip's turn. Uzi, what was his dream? I forgot. His dream is the, the, the one with the golf. Okay, now it's my turn. Nine. Pizza franchise, 7,000 monthly cash flow, 37% cash on return, down payment of 255,000. Hmm, so I'm gonna have to buy that. That's like 20,000 to go. Now it's Bob's turn. Oh, he landed on a pizza franchise again. Uh, so now he just adds 7,000 to the monthly cash flow. Now, let me see here. He still have like 3,000 3, to go. Now it's my turn. Seven. Seven? Seven wonders of the world. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to pass that. Now it's Philip's turn. A mini farm in a city. 
What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most mm -hmm. stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. All right, here's this. Russian oil deal. 75,000 monthly cash flow if you roll four higher on one die. Otherwise, get nothing. Hey, it's a 50-50 chance, but I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to try. Maybe I can win the game for real. Two. Oh, that was close. Now it's Flip's turn. Uh, South Sea Island Fantasy. I think it's, I don't think that's his dream, so. But he paid for that anyway. Hmm. Now it's my turn. Four. Well, another beauty salon. 10,000 per monthly cash flow. I'm gonna buy that. So now 10,000 to go. It's Phil's turn. And he was in the middle of divorce and now he paid half of his cash in on hand for alimony. Now it's my turn. Six. Okay, that's great. A gold mine. I love this one. 25,000 monthly cash flow if you roll three or higher on one die. Otherwise, get nothing. Hey, it's a two, two third chance I, I win. Say investing is a risky. Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's a good deal. I'm gonna, if I can actually win it, then I'll actually end the game for real. So let's start. Two. Oh, that was really close. Now it's my, now it's Philip's turn. Auto repair shop. Oh, that's a good one. And he just paid for that one hundred fifty thousand for that shop. And now it's my turn. Two. Just got a paycheck of one million one hundred forty-five thousand. Now it's Philip's turn. Okay, that's a private fishing cabin, and let's see here, he just paid a hundred thousand to that, uh, for that cabin. Now, it's my turn. Second row is seven. Seven! Oh, that's a good one! That's, a, that's my dream! Yeah, here we go! Oh, no! That, that was close, man. Uh, pro team box seat. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. I'm going to have to pass. And now it's Philip's turn. Truck part maker. 5,000 monthly cash on he, he just paid for that. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, so now one more one more opportunity. See if I can, see if I can actually win the game for real. Cookware infomercial. 50,000 monthly cash flow if you roll four high or one die. Otherwise, get nothing. Here we go. I'm going to roll it. My last chance. Six, yay! Congratulations, you won the game and achieved your dream goal. Final score, I have 270 and Philip 230. Yay! So now, you know what it means to be in the freeway to financial freedom? By applying these concepts from the show into your daily life, 
You can overcome financial obstacles and avoid financial pitfalls while creating new sources of wealth through wise financial decisions so you can be in a state of affluence and prosperity for the rest of your life and future generations. All right, that's it for this episode of the show. And remember, knowledge is your golden ticket to affluence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.